Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province plans to increase its export credit insurance support for SMEs so as to help those enterprises whose exports are plummeting due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The province will increase the maximum amount of support from the current 1.2 million Korean won to 2 million Korean won per enterprise and has prepared an emergency revised supplementary budget of 1.35 billion Korean won for this purpose. Any SME whose main office or factory is situated in the province and with exports of less than 20 million US dollars last year, or an export group with exports of less than 30 million US dollars last year, is eligible for support. Support will be provided on a first-come, first-served basis until the funds are exhausted. Detailed information can be obtained from the Southern Kyunggi branch of the Korea Trade Insurance Corporation. Kyunggi Province plans to help floriculturists whose farms are being affected by the COVID-19 outbreak with material purchase cost support. Those farmers that reside and grow flowers in the province and whose farms are registered as agricultural businesses may apply for support. Applications will be received until the middle of April. Up to 2 million Korean won in support will be provided to 2,285 farms for individual purchases of materials including seed beds and bedding soil. The province will distribute the support funds to local governments from April for payments to farmers that begin in May. In Kyunggi Province, those who suffered direct or indirect damage due to COVID-19 will be allowed preferential payment conditions in non-tax levies such as the extension of due dates and the mitigation of collection measures. The non-tax levies include fines, penalties and enforcement charges. Subjects of support include confirmed COVID-19 carriers and quarantined individuals, as well as those who suffered business damage due to visits by COVID-19 carriers. For those who are the subjects of property seizure for tax delinquency, the province will defer the action and notify them accordingly. This month, thanks to Kyungi Province's semi-public bus management system, intercity buses began running on 16 new routes through areas that had been regarded as unprofitable and therefore shunned by bus operators. With expanded bus operation, transportation inconveniences experienced by residents in these areas have been significantly reduced. Related services also improved, including the provision of cleaner air and free Wi-Fi. All drivers on this route received courteous service training. Such changes stem from the introduction of a semi-public bus management system through which routes are allocated to bus operators based on bids. Selected bus operators are granted licenses to operate on the routes for a period of five to nine years, while the province guarantees compensation for any operational deficits. This system enables intercity bus operation in areas that were previously shunned by bus operators. 경기도용 버스 중공 경제는 공공성을 최우선으로 하여 도민께서 체감할 수 있는 감동 서비스를 제공해 나갈 것이고요. 앞으로도 도민께서 필요하신 광역 버스 노선을 더욱 확대 발굴해 나갈 예정입니다. As trial cases of bid-based route allocation, Kyunggi Province will operate 120 buses on these 16 new routes, including four previously discontinued routes in isolated or new residential districts. Kyunggi Province recently began the operation of airport buses exclusively for Kyunggi residents arriving from abroad. Geared to intercept a possible influx of COVID-19 carriers from overseas, these buses transport users to their individual hometowns where they are then picked up by public vehicles 
for the final leg of their journey to their homes. In Incheon International Airport, a group of arriving passengers check in for airport buses at a new airport bus passenger lounge. Unlike passengers on other airport bus routes, they are greeted by drivers in protective clothing who drive the buses non-stop to newly designated regional transfer points. At these locations, local public office vehicles wait to transport the passengers to their individual residences. These airport buses are exclusively for Kyunggi residents who arrive at Incheon International Airport from abroad. Launched on March 28th, initially for Kyunggi residents arriving from the United States and Europe, these services were expanded to cover all arriving residents regardless of their departure points. This program includes 21 buses on 10 routes. This program is expected to minimize secondary infection through the avoidance of personal contact on public transportation while facilitating the tracking of residents who arrive from abroad. These buses run a total of 55 times daily from Incheon International Airport to 15 transfer points in the province. Detailed information can be obtained by calling the Kyunggi Province Airport Bus Operations Center or related local offices. In Korea, a kind landlord movement is spreading among landlords who reduce rents so as to share the difficulties experienced by their tenants during the COVID-19 pandemic. Kyunggi Province is joining this movement by reducing provincial facility rents for SMEs and small businesses. Business at this restaurant at Kintech Center has plummeted after the COVID-19 outbreak. Kintex has reduced management fees for 32 resident businesses from February to April. The Kyunggi Tourism Organization has also reduced rents to half for a three-month period for restaurants and souvenir shops at Imjingak in Paju City, so as to help these small businesses withstand the COVID-19 crisis. Imbeiro 같은 경우에는 지금 3월부터 해서 한 3개월 정도 50% 정도는 감면을 해준다고 하니까 그래도 어느 정도 경영상에서 약간의 도움은 될 것으로 생각합니다. The Kyunggi Urban Innovation Corporation and the Kyunggi Ceramic Foundation have also reduced rents by 30% and 35% respectively for resident businesses. 앞으로 경기도 소유 시설의 임대료 감면도 신속하게 추진해 나갈 예정입니다. 공공 영역의 착한 임대료 운동을 통해 소상공인이나 중소기업인에게 이 어려움을 극복하는 단초가 되었으면 하는 바람이 있습니다. Kyunggi Province will also reduce rents for facilities at other provincial organizations, including the Kyunggi Cultural Foundation and the Kyunggi Business and Science Accelerator. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.